Hammond's Candy Factory in Denver, Colorado has been making candy by hand since 1920. How does something like this become this? And what are the chances of it landing in here, the oops room where broken candy is sold at a reduced price? It takes several people working together to make one batch of candy canes. Workers wear long sleeves and gloves as they work near triple digit heat. Sugar, corn syrup, and water are brought to a boil, which is eventually poured out to cool. If needed, color is added and mixed in thoroughly. When the mixture is cooled to a soft glob, it is stretched so air can get in and flavor is added. For candy canes, red and white globs get sandwiched together and drawn into a rope. It takes at least three years of training for one worker to be able to perfect this process of molding, stretching, and twisting one batch of hard candy. Candy canes are cut and bent by hand, using marks on workspaces to maintain quality control. These guidelines are helpful, but making candy has become intuitive for workers. After the candy is shaped, it cools and hardens and is wrapped and sealed in cellophane. The uniformity of the candies and the accuracy of the workers who create them is truly remarkable. Only a tiny percentage ends up in the oops room. Nowadays, when you eat candy, it's safe to assume it's made by a machine. But at Hammond's Candies, they are largely made by hand where workers create individual masterpieces. You get the sweet combination of American quality and craftsmanship in every bite.